by the Spirit that the Gentiles should be fairly sent of the same body and partakers of the promise in Christ by the gospel. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Mark 16, 15, and 16. Let the church say amen. amen. Truly we need to give all the honor and glory to God for enabling us to be here on this great day. 6 and 7. Ephesians, the first chapter, verses 6 and 7. And the Bible reads, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. If we would just for a few moments examine this long paragraph, starting from verse 1 and really all the way down to verse 14, we will see that there are a number of spiritual blessings in that paragraph. Here we see in verse 3, Blessed be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. My friend, spiritual blessings are in Christ. Notice, he starts out with the first spiritual blessing. God in the eternal mind of God, the infinite mind of God, he planned, he developed the plan to save mankind from his sins. He, he's not talking about saving Alice and Joe. He's talking about saving a class of people that will be holy, that will be blameless, and in an individual will have the opportunity to hear the gospel and to obey the gospel and put Christ on in baptism. Amen. Furthermore, we see in the, in the spiritual blessing, he has given us redemption through his blood. Also, we see that he has given us wisdom and insight into what we have studied and learned as well. But what's important to us also, and that's, this is not my lesson, we see in verse 10 that we, have, we are one in Christ Jesus, gathered together in one. And then in verse 11, he points out that we have an inheritance. Jesus Christ came down from the glories of heaven. He took on our humanity. He went to the cross to die for our sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day and ascended back to heaven to sit on the right hand of God to be King Jesus, head of the church. He is there preparing a place for us, there in that eternal kingdom. Oh, that's why the Bible says, seek those things which are above and not all things on this earth. We have to set our mind on heavenly things and not on earthly things. And then in verses 12 and and following, all the way to verse 14, we see the salvation that we have in Christ Jesus. And those who have obeyed the gospel have been sealed with the Holy Spirit a promise. But let us focus our attention on verse 7. My subject is redemption through his blood. We want to look at this verse and we want to break this verse down in its component parts. We want to analyze this verse and, we, and hopefully when we get through with this lesson, you'll be, be able to take something home with you. You know, brothers, uh, I like to go to gospel meetings and I like to go to lectureships because when I go back, I have a notebook full of sermons. 